I'll tell you what, the one person that you never need to urge to get out on the practice field and bat is Mr. Surya Kumar Yadav, our good friend, who's uh, doing some incredible things at the international level, isn't he? Um, yes. What do you make of him and, and his journey, you know, since 2019, the first time, I think, did, did, you, did you see him for the first time in 2019 when you joined? 2018, actually. 2018, yeah. yeah. And, and then from there, how, how's it been like to sort of observe his journey now to being yeah. number one in the yeah. world? Oh, it's 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 wonderful. Uh, I think uh, such a genuine young man. He's not I'm not so young now, but I guess, <laughs> you know, four years ago when I first met him, I actually thought he was he was in his early twenties. I didn't realize he was. I think he was twenty eight at that stage. Yeah. Uh, so he's, he's got it's that just his character. Sort of he's just full of life, and yeah, uh, yeah, he's, yeah. He's, a, he's a he's a refreshing guy to be around. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's got yeah. a great outlook on life. Yeah. Uh, and I guess, you know, the, the journey that he's been on, I know he was with MI previous and then he went away to KKR, didn't he? And we yeah. brought him back in 2018 and, and sort yeah. of once you get to know and build a relationship with players, you can start asking them some questions. And, and for me, it was always a little bit of a head scratcher that, you know, he hadn't been more significant uh, yeah. in the IPL than, than what he had. Yeah. Uh, I know he'd had his moments where he'd played some very good, Inningses, but the consistency just wasn't there. And mm. and then when you dig a little bit deeper, and you, you sort of you know you find out why, and you know the ultimate mm. thing was that you know the burning desire for improvement was still there. So it's just yeah. about guidance. Then you yeah. know if if the fuel is is burning from within, it's just about guiding them and, and having people like Mahela as a mentor, and and having people like Paul Chapman and. You know, to uh, to encourage him around his, yeah. his strength and conditioning and his general fitness, and then some of the decisions that he made, you know, from a personal point of view, uh, alongside his wife, around where he wanted to take his career, and yeah. then to make the sacrifices that he made in order to do that, uh, was just refreshing to see. And it started in 2019, and and he played some some very good innings as far as in 2019, which allowed us to make the final and then go on and win the final. But then yeah. the big change was in 2020 when he, when he turned up and obviously oh. the IPL in 2020 was a little bit later, yeah. wasn't it? You know, because yeah. of the COVID yeah. restrictions, it was, it was deferred until uh, September through November over there in the Emirates, but just the change in him physically, uh, was really exciting to see and then you know it just allows you when when you're physically fit just allows you to perform your skills you know for longer you know the clarity in your thought process you know is is just so much stronger and i think as you get older as well you understand that you've earned the right to be successful when you've put mm. all that hard work in and you've made that those disciplinary decisions and you've made the sacrifices and uh, yeah and then just the way he plays the game, you know, it's yeah. just so uh, it's just so refreshing. There's a lot of naturalness about how he goes about yeah. it, but that's obviously been born out of all the work that he's been doing since he was a young man playing on the Maidens of Mumbai, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And he's peaked, you know, and, and I'm really pleased that he has peaked because, you know, potentially, you know, like many cricketers, you know, it could have been a career where you look back and you go, what might have been, or you might even had a few regrets, but you know, for for, uh, for Surya to make those decisions uh, specifically around fitness and, uh, and diet, you know, yeah. and to get the rewards is is just just a great example for everybody, uh, and it's just thrilling to see, you know, that that he's performing with India. He's passionate about playing for Mumbai. He's passionate about playing for Mumbai Indians, but you can tell that he actually loves playing for india you know yeah he, uh, yeah he, and he's he's very patriotic and and just the work that he's doing yeah. at the moment and yeah hopefully it, for him it just continues to provide success and fulfillment for him yeah couldn't happen to a nicer young man from from my experience from working with him yeah yeah truly truly i completely agree um just just to sort of touch on the technical aspects a little bit because um, I've sort of seen him um, play in the IPL before and, and you're absolutely right. He did play a few really good innings for, for Kolkata, but he would always bat at six or seven um, and, and he would end up, 
you know, having about 10 deliveries to face and, and you know, would be interested to finish games, etc. Comes to Mumbai and then he's been interested to bat it at three, um, the first game that he comes out of bat. So, first up, whose decision was that, you know, who, who do you remember whose decision was it to sort of say, listen, he's our number three? Because that's an important place to bat. And then from there, how does he go on to sort of strengthen the skills that he already had uh, to access areas that he does uh, uh, you know, on a cricket field. Yeah, I, th- I think initially that would have been a discussion when he when he came back into our setup with the head coach Mahela and and yeah. with Rohit. I would say Rohit would have had a, a massive role to play in that. You know, I know yeah. he really values you know Rohit's guidance and mentorship that he's provided for him over the recent time, especially since he's come back to MI. So, you know, I think we saw the potential, and and certainly the the man. And Mahela would have known a lot more about it than somebody like myself who was fresh in in 2018. Yeah. They, they knew the potential was there and it was about just trying to unlock that potential and, and provide the best opportunity for it to flourish. And and he did. He batted at three and I think he opened in some games. But he certainly did. through 2018, he played some very dynamic short innings. As, and, and our reflections were always that he was very fatigued very quickly. You know, obviously, mm. the, the time of year that, you know, IPLs played through uh, it's very hot. April, May, and it's very hot, isn't it? You know, and, yeah. and it's a it's an eye energy game that he plays. You know, it's not Chris Gale stand and deliver. It's, you know, he's accessing gaps and he's he's got the freshness in his mind that if he can hit a boundary, then mm. he's, he's going for a three, a two or a one. So, you know, there's always plenty of running involved in Surya's innings as, as well. He's, he's a busy player, so... You know, being physically fit uh, it was an important step for him to be able to dominate those roles, you know, whether it was opening or whether it was three or ultimately maybe four, I think he said on in, in 2022, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Hmm. So, yeah. Yeah. But uh, I'd say Rowett and, and Mahela and, and the management in general were we're keen to get him up towards the top of the order rather than having him finish in innings is because of, I guess, the, the potential and in the talent that they yeah. saw he had in him. Yeah. yeah. No, it's incredible. And I think, uh, you know, I think one of the names that he's sort of, or, or rather his reputation now is that of being able to play 360, which is huge. That is, I mean, you tell us that that that's a skill that you don't really get, right? It's very rare to have mm. players who can score all around the park. So, um, yeah. I think he always had shots that he could play behind behind square. Um, but I think w- what happened is, um, you, you know, I I feel Mahela and yourselves and everybody gave him the uh, a. I think, like you said, strength and conditioning was very important so that he could keep going. But also, I felt that he got a little bit more stable at the crease and was also a lot more sorted in his mind, you know. I always looked at him earlier and thought, listen, he, he's always sort of um, trying a little too hard. But then now you see him mm. he, in pressure situations, he's he he rarely flinches, right? How, mm. Has that also been your observation about him in terms of his progress yeah. the oh, mental cause, side of cause- things? Absolutely. Confidence is a wonderful thing, isn't it? You know, once yeah. you've had a, I guess, a, a decent spell of success and you've won some games for your team, the, your confidence levels go through the roof. And and like, you know, like he does, he, he's an innovative cricketer. Mm. Uh, but there's some special skill in there which allows him to do that. You know, he obviously picks the ball up very early and mm. picks length up very yeah, early. And, uh, and I've yeah. listened to some interviews, you know, obviously since he's had a success over the last year or so playing with India, you know, the demands of him in the media and to, and he talks very freely about, you know, how he goes about it. Uh, yeah. So there's no mystery in it. And I guess for bowlers, it's about how they try and, you know, how they try and stop him. But, you know, he's he's got an amazing work ethic, you know, and he's got a wonderful imagination. And it's something that I talk about all the time with, with young players in my role, not only as a fielding coach, but just in general, just to try and, almost dream a little bit about the player that you want to be, but then understand mm. that there is a significant amount of work that needs to be done in, in order for you to fulfill that. You know? And I guess the yeah. failures that you have along the way are your teachers rather than the coaches who might try and inhibit you by don't do that, you know, stop doing that. You know, you might get out. 
you know. So it's just making sure that the glass is half full rather than half yeah. empty and that you have that imagination. And he's got an amazing imagination because you, you can't come up with the things that he does if you don't have the imagination. But it's all underpinned by self-belief and that self-belief all comes from just an amazing work ethic. You know, he's, he's working hard on his game, you know, when people are sitting on the beach in Goha, you know, uh, at the end of the series or, you know, Surya's Suri out there, you know, and I've seen it and firsthand where he's just got an amazing work ethic. Yes, he has his downtime and he has his rest, but, you know, I know that he puts in so much work when the lights are off. Yeah. And, uh, and that allows him to, I guess, you know, have the results that he's having in recent times. Yeah, we can therefore allow him that extra piece of cake. We can do that. Yeah, right well, <laughs> well, that's it. You see, before when he was hoeing into all that cake and not doing the strength <laughs> work, he used to sit around his middle, and it's fine for sit around my middle because I don't have to go out and perform in the middle. So, yeah, now we, we do share a love of cake and uh, yeah. we try and make sure we, we indulge as much as possible. We didn't in, indulge in enough cake last year, unfortunately, because we didn't win enough games. Not enough when wins. we did win. Yeah. When we did win, we, we had a nice cake and uh, and we all shared it together. And it always helps when your wife is such a good cook, right? Tivisha is absolutely amazing yeah. with dessert. <laughs> Shout out yes, to Tivisha. Yes, I understand. That They're amazing. She's a, she's a, yeah, she's an amazing baker. And yeah. Yeah, I know when she, she took control of uh, Sky's diet, you know, two or three years ago, that uh, it was amazing what they were cooking up in their room there. And yeah, it was brilliant. No, it's so much about people that you surround yourself with, isn't it? I mean, in, in cricket and yeah. in life in general, right? Just just, just yeah. having having the right partner, having the right coaches with you changes everything. It does, yeah. It's, you know, you you do learn by observing. and But having that optimistic outlook on life, you know, is, mm. is really important because, you know, life is challenging in many respects, you know, and not yeah. only when you're challenged to be an interna international cricketer, but just, just in general. And obviously the last couple of years have been extremely challenging for everybody and yeah. uncomfortable for everybody. So if you can have a, an optimistic viewpoint and, and you can be grateful for the small mercies that you do have, then yeah, yeah. You, you tend to, you tend to bounce through the challenging periods a little bit easier. Yeah. I think that's a good segue into our last bit that I want to talk to you about, which is, of course, uh, Team India and, and the World Cup that's on. Surya is an important, such an important player now for India, isn't he? I mm. mean, he's he's literally driving this team. Um, in my observation, over 7 to 15, he's been given that responsibility to really keep that run rate up and up. And what yeah. an incredible job he's doing at it. Um, how, mm. What's it been like for you to sort of not just see Surya yeah. do so well for India, but just Team India in general. Um, and, you know, how's that been like? Yeah, I mean, obviously, for Fox and on Syria and his role with India, it's, it's been no surprise, really, because, yeah. you know, with the greatest respect, he's been very consistent over the last three years in the yeah. best yeah. 2020 competition in the world. In Nani, and he is facing the best bowlers, you know, that the world has to offer in 2020 cricket. And he's mastered them in general you know over that period so it's been not surprised that he's he's gone into that Indian team and and taken on the role that he's been assigned and and delivering it with you know very consistent I mean 2020 is not it's not about consistency really it's more about <laughs> impact but yeah. uh, he's, he's having impact and he's having consistency so yeah if you can bring those really two together exciting. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, and, and we've seen that over the years with Virat, and we've seen it with Rohit, and and it just gives your team so much more opportunity to, you know, win games of cricket when you've got people who are impacting to a significant level and consistently doing that as well. So, yeah, uh, I've been really impressed with how he's how he's handled that, you know, and and he seems mm -hmm. to be flourishing in it, and. Uh, Obviously, the the pressure that comes with with playing for India is is very significant, and uh, his character shine through. You know, just when he doesn't, I guess, have the successes that you know he would hope to have, he he just gets excited about what's coming next and the next fixture, and and yeah. on he goes. You know, very clear in his mind with what his role is, and he seems very clear in his mind with how he's going about it from. 
and that's a challenge, I guess, when you get to somewhere like Australia, that you know the, the wickets are significantly different to, I guess, what he's been brought up on and, and played mm. the majority of his cricket off on in and around India. But he's made that transi- transition really well, yeah. and as long as he just keeps respecting, you know, the situation of the game and and what's required from him, I, I've got no no doubt that he will be a, a significant figure and in, in, in perhaps you know the latter stages of this competition 